guys. Um, all right, so I'm outside. I don't know if I should be because it looks like it's gonna rain. Anyway, today's topic is about back to school because it's what it's back to school week already. So I thought of a couple. I thought of a list of things that you need for back to school. So number one, you're gonna want to get pens, lots of pens, pencils, markers, glue stick. No, fuck that shit. You don't need the glue stick. I don't think I ever used a glue stick. Never. I don't think anyone really has except when they're in like little little grades. Um so you're gonna wanna get like a lot of notebooks. Definitely get the spiral kind and get the kind that like is colorful, like a color. Because I think if you get black, black just says so much about you. It says that you're like antisocial and that you don't want to talk to anybody. Get like a cool color, like a blue or even like a yellow or even pink or anything besides black. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe I'm just against the color black. Not like that. I'm not racist. I meant like the actual color. I just don't like black. Although very odd, these are black, but I don't really like them. Anyway, so you're going to want to do that. After you have that done, you have all your school supplies. Well, actually, you're probably going to need a calculator too, so you might want to get one of them. Get a small one. Don't get like one of those ginormous ones. Just get a small calculator. Um, then you are going to want to pick out your outfit because we all know you want to look fly and you want to have swag on your first day back to school, but you don't want to look too nice and you don't want to look too overdressed, but you also don't want to look like you have just been, I don't know, picked out of a, like a garbage dumpster the day before school. Or you don't want to look like you just roll out of bed. Although, I tend to do that, I think, a couple times, maybe more than a couple kind of threw on whatever and just went <laughs> but um so wear like something you want to have swag so you can have swag just by wearing like a tank top just like this I mean don't go into boxers I mean you can but I don't know if they get expelled so just wear a tank top um don't wear a suit or a tie and girls don't wear like some fancy dress I mean this isn't the ball or like prom just, you know, you want to be cool, but you don't want to be... Just wear something that shows your personality, because your personality is what matters. And what matters, what should matter, not just for yourself, but to anybody that comes in contact with you. They should, really shouldn't care what you look like anyway, um, but you want to make yourself look good. You want to have a good appearance, you know, you want to... Appearances are everything, but not everything, if that makes any sense at all. So, after you have your outfit picked out, and don't do it the day before, that's bad. Because then you're going to be like, Mom, where is this and where is that? And you're going to be a mess. Um, so, okay, so you got your, your supplies, and you have your outfit picked out. Now, if you had summer reading to do, and you didn't do it, better start doing it now <laughs> because um, you don't want to be that one person in school or in your class that's like has a test for whatever book you had to read over the summer and you didn't read it so you're like hey psst, you what's number three no number three teacher comes no Number three, douchebag. <laughs> Although, don't use the douchebag part. Um, but you, so you want to read that. You might want to read, start, get on that, like now, that's what she said. But you might want to get on that, um, because it's probably not a good thing that you're just starting that now anyway. But better late than never, right? So... Okay, so you got your supplies, your outfit, your summer reading, and what else? Okay, so we all know that you were in you were in non-school mode for the past three months, three and a half months. 
So we know that your handwriting probably sucks. So just practice your handwriting a couple times. Practice signing your name because we all know it probably looks like chicken scratch or something. So thank you, guy across the street, for mowing your lawn right now during my video. <laughs> um, so yeah, practice your handwriting because you don't want it to be bad. Um, and then we also know that you're probably not in the most polite mood because you're back to school. Especially if you're going back to high school, you're kind of like, uh, kind of like a zombie. But you want to just kind of like, you're excited to go back to school. Now, if you're going back to high school for the first time, or if you're going to high school for the first time, I know it's difficult and it's stressful and it's nerve wracking, but just Try to make the most out of it, okay? Um, try to make friends. And if you're not going back to high school, or if you're going back to high school and you've already been in high school, you already know what it's all about. Help somebody else that really doesn't know what's going on. Um, you know, it's always good to lend a helping hand. Really? Um, so, do that, because always good to help someone. We'll help them out. And also, if you're in like middle school or pre-K, I don't really have much advice for you besides just be a kid. I don't really, I don't really know. But um, get the glue sticks. You probably need glue sticks in those grades. I don't know, I never really needed it. But you definitely probably will in those grades. And one more thing, this might be a little serious, but since we are going back to school, and we all know that school is stressful um, for everybody, for everybody, whether you want to show it or not, if you are being bullied or somebody else is being bullied and you are witnessing that and you're not doing anything, please, please, please get help immediately. Um, so many people, you know, commit suicide due to being bullying and I think that so much could be prevented by taking a stand or you know saying something if you see somebody sitting alone at lunch be like hey do you want to come sit with me and my friends be the better the better person because when you're the better person <laughs> why <laughs> um when you're the better person, in the end, uh, you're just a better person, and that's awesome. So, do that. Help somebody. Um, help somebody to their class if they don't know where they're going or whatever. But other than that, I think that's about it. And um, I hope the first week of school goes good for you guys. And oh, you might want to get your bus your bus schedule and also your schedule of the classes because you want to know where you're going so you can be swag tastic or something I don't even know what the kids use these days but that's it guys I love you so much have a first no have a first no wait ah, I'd edit that but I don't got time for that um <laughs> have a good first week of school and May the odds be up in your favor. And I love you guys so much. And know that I'm thinking of you. And um, be cool, be kind, don't judge, especially on the first day of school. And um, my back hurts. Ugh. I love you. Peace, love. Again, be cool, be kind, don't judge. And. Um, have a good first day of school, whatever that is for you. Because some people are already back in school and some people are starting tomorrow. So, yeah, whatever. But um, do those couple of steps for back to school tips and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Tomorrow. I love you so much. Oh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like this video because it gives me a, it's a big help. And subscribe up there or down there or over there or over there, wherever it is now. I don't know, YouTube, you screw that up for me all the time. 
and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Love you. Big hug. Embrace it. Bye.